So ChatGPT just rolled out Operator, a brand new feature that's an AI agent. This is going to change the world as we know it. If you're not familiar with AI agents or this new feature Operator, essentially at a high level what they are is it does the task for you based on its knowledge set. So the difference is previously you tell ChatGPT, you know, write a blog article for me and it does it, right? Now it has multiple steps and I'm gonna show you how to do all of this. This is a full ChatGPT operator tutorial. But you can say, do the research of my competitors, uh, top performing blog articles, find the keywords that they rank for on a keyword research tool like Ubersuggest or Ahrefs or SEMrush or any of these, organize everything into a table, and then actually start to write the articles for me. You can connect multiple steps together. You can have this thing book travel for you, book restaurant reservations under your name. The possibilities are now endless. Let's jump in. Now, the biggest disclaimer up front is that the access to operator is currently only available on the $200 a month GPT Pro plan. And it's essentially a research preview. So while this is incredibly powerful, it's still just the first release. So if you remember back to when ChatGPT first originally rolled out, everyone's minds were blown. But when you really jump into it, it's there are some things that it's not quite there, even though it's really powerful and you just know that this is going to get better. So assuming that you're on the pro plan here, you're gonna see this new tab up in the upper left-hand corner that says operator. And it's gonna load you over into this brand new URL, operator.chatgpt.com. You can actually save previous searches here. This is one test that I did earlier. But the other really cool thing that I love about this is it has all of these preset ideas for you. So you can learn, kind of, kind of get the gist of what it can do. So dining and events, you know, book a table for two at a romantic French bistro tomorrow night at 8 p.m., find a sushi restaurant with high ratings, just 30 minute meal with chicken that has at least 4.5 stars and has connections to all of these apps like Open Table, StubHub, All Recipes. The delivery options down here, it's connected to Instacart, DoorDash, Uber Eats, and so you can say, you know, order flowers and chocolate for under $100. All of these different things, local services, reserve an Uber from my house to the airport at 6.30 a.m. You can book things on Thumbtack, like book a house cleaner. Under shopping here, they have Target and Etsy and eBay all connected. So find a Lego gift under $100 for my three-year-old. Travel, this thing can actually book travel experiences for you. Find me a few top-rated Paris tour experiences. Book a last-minute hotel deal for tonight in downtown Chicago. And then there's a lot of news-oriented updates as well, like find the latest news on emerging markets, find today's featured podcast, find top headlines in politics today, find the latest news on artificial intelligence. And so, you know, this is so freaking cool how this works. So we can type in something like find the top AI news story today and write me a 1000 word SEO blog article on it that passes AI. You can of course get more advanced with some of these prompts. This is just a, a sample of course. And what it does is it, it shows you this browser. So they have their own internal browser in ChatGPT and you can expand it so you can actually watch as it's going through each step over here. Now the other cool thing that I really like is this take control functionality. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. Essentially you're going to have to take control at certain elements right now. So hilariously it can't pass CAPTCHA. So there's been a couple of experiences where I have to go in and mark the buses in the screen or the stoplight and actually get it through CAPTCHA and then give it back control to finish that step. So that's one of the little things that like, you know, it's not perfect yet. And it kind of times out sometimes too. There seem to be certain websites that have blocked it for some reason. So you can't access YouTube through this or in video.io randomly. I noticed 
because they're a competitor to my to my AI tool syllabi. But you can see all of these cool things, right? It's using the Bing browser, it's searching Google Docs, it also it already searched for top AI news story, it searched for how Chinese company, I don't know what it's doing. But let's see here. See, so it's probably gonna get locked here, right? It, it faces a login screen. And what's it gonna do here? So this is pretty funny. It circumvents it. Online word processor, no sign in. So it wasn't able to sign into Google. And so it decided <laughs> to do a different search to obtain that task, which is absolutely hilarious. So you can see it's opening up all of these documents here. And so you can see I'm not typing anything. ChatGPT is just doing all of the research in front of me. Now, if I wanted to take control, this is how this looks like, for instance. So it's gonna screen here and I can actually interact with this browser here. So if I wanted to, you know, type something in here, you know, pop, 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 I can do that. I can open new tabs in this browser and you'll see like, I wanna see, yeah, in their own browser, yeah, site unavailable, unavailable to access the site. So it does look like there are some some limitations. This was another one that I noticed in particular. So some websites are just gonna not be available. So, okay, so that worked, but let me see. There were certain pages that I couldn't find. Okay, so just cut out the section about in the video. Anyway. And so we can kind of scroll through and look at all of the things, right? So it, a Bing search for top AI news stories today, it found this news story about this deep uh, AI Chinese model DeepSeek here, which is making waves in the AI news. It tried to sign up for Google Docs and do it. It hit this blocker and decided to do its own Google search or its own uh, alternative search for online word processor, no sign in. It found this website and actually actually did the task for me. If you want to give it back control, all you need to do is click finish setup and then return control to operator. And it's going to actually finish that task for me. Now, this was a really cool experiment that I did when I was first testing it. I wanted to really test multi-step approaches and see what it was capable of. And so I asked it, can you list the top 10 podcasts that NVIDIA.io was on? I'd start by searching for NVIDIA.io on listennotes.com then create a table with the following information, the name of the podcast, the URL of the podcast website, and then craft a custom email for each show for why I should be a guest on that show. Here's some info about me and I'm the CEO and co-founder of this website. And so it actually did all of these steps, right? And it crafted the email for me. It linked the name of the podcast here, the URL to that podcast over on Listen Notes. And then it actually gives me the email here with the subject line and the actual email. Now I had to do some reprompting a little bit. Like I said, you didn't scan my websites or learn anything about me. Please scan the websites. Had to prompt it again here. A little bit and you can see it actually did some of the research and it took you know two prompts here but but then it actually did its job ended up writing a decent enough email here and so i can continue on this if i really wanted to this is going to replace the need for personal assistance this is going to save you so much time like if i'm booking a flight i want to get real like it is so annoying for me to book flights and so this is what i'm most excited for is like actually booking travel so we can type in something like And you'll see it starts to do all of the research for me. It types RDU in to SNA. It, this blows my mind that it has the context to know what fields to fill out and put what. This alone is mind blowing from RDU to SNA on this Saturday. It automatically selected a return date for me. I didn't give it that information. That's pretty fascinating. And so let's see what it does with price adjustments here. So there are no prices seemingly under my price point. So I'm curious what it's going to do when it hits this obstacle. Okay, so it gave me an update here. The cheapest round trip flight from RDU to SNA this Saturday is 709, which exceeds your budget. Would you like me to adjust the search criteria? Yes, both the cheapest and fastest flight. The other thing that I love about this is that it can operate in the background too. So I can set this operator to do certain tasks and then I can go about my day doing my regular tasks. And it'll ask some steps along the way. Should I proceed with booking this flight? Yes, please. 
and it'll basically do everything for you until it hits certain checkpoints that it can't pass, like traveler information here, for instance. Now, remember that this is super early and it's only going to get better. They're likely going to release this to the regular GPT Plus plans, which is $20 a month to make it much more accessible to more people. These things are only going to get more powerful. 2025 is going to be the year of AI agents. So keep an eye out on other tools that are coming out that have functionalities like this. Perplexity just released an AI agent same day as ChatGPT through the Perplexity app on Android phones specifically. If you want to stay up to date on AI news and AI tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. I also have an AI marketing conference coming up in October. It's October 9th through the 11th. 2025. It's going to be in Dallas, Texas. I have the information and description below. It's going to be the best AI marketing conference in the United States. We already have some of the best AI speakers coming. I hope to see you there. Tickets are on early bird right now. It's the cheapest possible price and it's actually a lot cheaper than most marketing conferences out there right now. So if you want to stay up to date, on AI, breaking news, learn how to adopt and incorporate AI into your business. I hope to see you at that conference.